The measures are similar to ones already in place in New Zealand since last December. There, the legal smoking age was increased gradually. That means tobacco can never be sold to anyone born on or after the 1st of January 2009. But how much of an issue is smoking here in the UK? This data is from just last month. It looks at adults who smoke cigarettes. 12% of our population smoke. That's the lowest number since current records began. Of those, 8% say they smoke every day. But figures show that younger people tend to be more likely to smoke. Have a look at those aged 18 to 24. They have the highest proportion of smokers at 17%. 10% say they smoke every day. The age group with the lowest proportion of smokers are those aged 65 or over. Only 7% of that age group smoke. The number of smokers overall has been steadily decreasing over the last 30 years. But even then, most people think existing government measures don't go far enough to make an impact. One thing the government did back in 2017 was introduce graphic images on cigarette packaging. But look at this survey. Under a quarter of people think that has any impact on people choosing to smoke. The government aims to make the UK smoke-free by 2030, but we're currently not on track to meet that target. Anti-smoking activists argue these new measures could be key to achieving that aim. Here in the UK, if the measures are implemented as planned, it'll affect anyone who is today 15 years old or younger. Because from 2026, anyone born after the 1st of January 2008 will never be allowed to buy a cigarette.